Hi, I'm Mike Holmes, and this is Just Ask Mike. You know I love to answer your questions, and here we go. A question from Melanie. Do you recommend whole home filtration systems? Water filtration systems, yes. Whole home water filtration is ideal for those who want to improve the water in their home to a level that's appropriate for its use in the home. The system you personally need will be dictated by an on-site water test and should always be done that way. From Irene, have I really been watching you for 20 years? Geez. Yeah, have I really been doing this for 20 years? Contractor from a kid to now television 20 years? Yes is the answer. It's been a long time and I'm still going. From Patricia, when the water first comes out of the tap, it has a cloudy look but then disappears. Is that mineral settling? Is it something to worry about? Water should only be made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Anything else could be considered a contaminant. Do I need a reverse osmosis filter if I have a whole home filtration system? Okay, a reverse osmosis system, yes, you can do the tap on the sink, that separate tap for fresh drinking water and run a line to the fridge. So the answer to that question is you can do both. If you get a whole home filtration system, it doesn't hurt to add the reverse osmosis. It's a three-stage system for filtering your water that you're going to drink. I recommend to do both. From Becca, Mike, I didn't know there could be radon in the water. Why don't more people know about that? That's a really good question. I gotta tell you this is because even I didn't know about it. We're learning more and more about radon only because we're talking about it. This is something that should be a big subject considering it is the single most cause for lung cancer besides smoking cigarettes. If radon comes out of the ground, especially in well water, it can be introduced into the well water and allow to come up because it's pumped up out of the ground into your house as the water comes out of the faucet. Does it need to be treated if it's high Becquerel levels? The answer is absolutely yes. How do you know? You need to have it tested by a professional. This photo shows that they're taking the water, putting it onto a electric stove, using the copper, which is kind of smart because it's gonna heat the water and keep, keep it hot. Is it the way to do it? No. That is electricity and water combined and is very dangerous don't even think about doing things like this. We have things on the market that you can buy that are not expensive when it comes to wanting to heat water. And they're a tankless little hot water system that you can use. Don't ever do that, please. <laughs> Okay, taking a look at this picture, I just laughed a little bit if you don't mind, and I'm gonna have to, because the fittings that come from the neck of the shower faucet are more expensive than buying a standard shower faucet that actually have a shower. I'm not gonna say it's ingenious. I'd rather the water just come out and soak me than to do something like this. However, you get an A for effort. From Dave. We will be setting up my water system at the cabin. We will be pumping lake water into a 1,000 gallon holding tank into the basement. I plan to run the water through three stages of filtration. He's asking, is that good enough? Well, what condition is your water in prior to treatment and what makes it up in the three stages of filtration? What water quality do you want after it's treated? You also have to consider things like having enough water pressure for the filters to do their job. Are the filters sized properly? How much maintenance are you willing to put into your system? And how long do you want it to last? There are a lot of considerations to make before selecting a water treatment system, which is what I recommend. You leave it to the water pros like those at Connecticut. Please give them a call.